Renee here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As you could tell by today's title, I have another vacation haul to share with you guys and it is my Disney character warehouse haul. So I did do a couple trips to the warehouse um, or to, <laughs> to the warehouse, to the outlet store and first time around I did not find too much. However, on my second trip around I found quite a few items so I wanted to make a separate video and share with you guys what I bought at the Orlando Premium Outlets, the one specifically on International Drive. So let's get this video started. Right, so I'll start off with two items I bought during my first trip there. If you guys have been following my vacation vlogs, you probably already saw these two items. So this is the bag if you're curious. So the first time I went, a lot of the items that they had were seasonal. So Christmas and Halloween, and I didn't really want any of those items. Um, however, I did find a couple things. I found the Starbucks ornaments. Since these were considered like a Christmas piece, they had them at the outlet for, oops, that's backwards, for $4.99. And these originally sold for $12.95, which I think it's a good deal. And these things are just so cute. I'm not going to necessar necessarily use this as a Christmas decoration, but I'll probably just you know, decorate my room with it because it's very cute. Along with that, if you guys are familiar with those Starbucks cups, they also have the uh, ceramic mug as a little ornament as well. Super cute. And once again, same price. So originally $12.95 and they were on for $4.99 at the Disney character warehouse. As for today, I really lucked out and found some really cute things. So I came out with a couple bags and I'll also share with you what Lawrence purchased. He got a couple things as well today. So the first thing might be no surprise if you guys have been following my channel. I got a stitch stuffy. So the first trip he was not um, in the store and I saw him today and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder how much he is. And you guys are going to think this is such a great deal. So he was originally $24.95 and he was on sale for $9.95. Like, oh my gosh, that is more than 50% off. So such a good deal. And I don't know if there's a name for these editions, but it's the ones that are like fluffier looking if you guys could tell and this is like a medium sized one so if you guys don't know stitch is probably my favorite animal my favorite disney like animal character i guess you could say so i do have a couple stuffies but i don't have one that looks like this and he's kind of almost sitting on his hind legs and the fact that he's so soft and fluffy I thought I could justify buying another <laughs> stitch for my bedroom and for 10 bucks how can you resist such a good deal so I got this plate here you may or may not know they had a collection of this for each of the I guess areas in the parks so they have one for Frontierland Magic Kingdom no sorry <laughs> Frontierland Fantasyland Tomorrowland Adventureland am I missing any but anyways, they had this one and the Frontierland at the Disney outlet and I just really like Adventureland and I like how it has a little dole whip here and I just really like the look of this. Anything kind of tropical or summer like I really like and I thought it would just be cute to have. To be honest, I'm not too sure if I'm going to give this as a gift or to keep but I just really like it. This was originally $5.95 and it was at the outlet for $2.99 so I think that's a really good deal. So here's a closer look at the design and if you're curious this is a hard plastic it's not ceramic all right so the next item i bought is actually going to be a gift to my brother so the eldest of the two and it is this pullover sweater i really like how it represents all the parks so you have animal kingdom hollywood studios magic kingdom and epcot and in the background and it's a little more faded but it has like more vintage looking um logos so we have haunted mansion um, epcot center Dino, dino land usa and pirates of the caribbean 
And yeah, I just really like how it looks more of like the retro logos. So let me bring this closer to the camera. So this is how it looks like. <laughs> Let's just move him over here. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought it was really nice. And I like the look how it has more of a solid navy blue on the collar and as well on the sleeves. And it's more of like a salt and pepper kind of color so it's not a solid navy blue and my brother really likes wearing pullovers and he's always worn all the pullovers I gave him so I thought he would like this and this one was a really good price as well this was originally $49.95 and it was at the outlet for $12.99 like that is like beyond 60% as well so it's a really good price okay so in the first bag there were a couple more things left and what we have here is like one of those sippy cups that you can get in the park this one is goofy's glacier so i'm guessing this is what you get in the park like for soda or maybe even a slushy but this was a dollar 99 and i think that is the original price that you could get it at the park as well because there's no actual clearance sticker on it but not bad Okay, and then the next thing we got is a keychain. Lawrence and I actually both got the same keychain, but it's this one here. It says Walt Disney World. And once again, it represents all the parks. That's why I really liked it. I'm assuming the only reason why this is in the outlet is because it doesn't have a regular key fob. It has a clip, but you know, for the price of this keychain and how nice it is, I don't think it re would really matter to who we gifted with because it's still a nice keychain. And as for the original price, it doesn't have it on here. I think it may say red underneath, which I think is like $9.99 if I can remember. Um, but at the outlet, this was for $3.99, which is a really good price. So we got two of those. Moving on to the second bag, I have just a couple more things. And these are gifts as well for my family. Okay, so for my mom, I got her this gorgeous scarf. So this is the size of it. So it, it's a much bigger scarf than what it looks like when it's just hanging. But as you can see, it's pink and it's very subtle, but it has like Mickey Mouse's you know face or his head outline as a pattern and I feel like she would really like this because it doesn't scream Disney but at the same time it is a Disney scarf so I just thought you know what I will get this for her because it's really nice and the original price for the scarf was $21.95 and it was on for $9.99 at the outlet which once again is like half off or just a little more half or just a little more over uh, half off. So last but not least, for my youngest brother, I had to make sure to get something for him as well. I got this t-shirt. So it is striped with buttons and then it says Walt Disney World 71. And I think it's just really nice. So this is how it looks like. And then at the very bottom it has just this little logo with Mickey Mouse on it with sunglasses which is cute it's subtle but it's there so the original price for this was $36.95 and at the outlet it was on for $7.99 like oh my gosh once again what a great price right and I did not see this the first time I went to the outlet I saw it when I went today for the second time so just thought that'd be really nice for my brother. All right, so that is it for my Disney outlet haul. However, I bought a couple more things from the outlet and I feel like it's not enough to make a second video. So I thought, why not? I will just tag it on to the end of this video. If you guys are curious to see what else I got at the Orlando Premium Outlet, continue watching. If not, you could exit out now, which is not a problem. Right, the first place I stopped in two is at Victoria's Secret and I didn't get any undergarments <laughs> however I got this really cute beach bag which I'm actually going to use as a carry-on bag as well because we don't have enough space in our luggage 
but I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but it's a very fluorescent pink, nice and bright, and it says eat, sleep, beach, and repeat, and it says Victoria's Secret, and as I said, it is a beach bag, so here's the strap, here's how it looks like. So it's a very nice size, and as I said, I'm going to use it as my additional carry-on bag. And also, what I really like about this has two big pockets on the front. And I lied, it does not say Victoria's Secret because this is the pink line. And from the color, I should have known that. But I guess this is from the pink spring break line, so that's what it says there. So yeah, that is how it looks like. And the original price for this is $19.95 and they had a wall of totes that were for 50% off. So when it came down to tax and everything, I paid about $9.70, Okay, the last two things that I purchased was from Aeropostale. I think from what I understood, the Aeropostale just opened up at that outlet because they had a sign like grand opening so I don't know if it was that week or maybe they're celebrating grand opening for the whole month but I found a couple things and the whole entire store was 60% off I know usually Airpostal has like deals happening in the regular stores but I actually found some really good deals there so the first thing I'm going to share with you all is a necklace it looks like this so it has like the outline of the sun and it has a moon a star and a little crystal and I just thought it was really cute and this goes for $20 full price and it was 60% off and I think it came down to like eight something so like eight or nine dollars so I thought that was a really good uh, price for a necklace next I bought myself this tank top so it's going with that whole 90s theme that is in right now, which is like the rib tank and it has like the higher neckline. So let me show that closer. So this material and it is racer back. And I'm planning to wear this with like my high waisted skirts in the summer. So I thought it would just be cute because with crop tops, they're easier to tuck in into higher waisted shorts and skirts. So not too much like fabric is bunching up near the waist. And this is $16.50 and with 60% off, I think it was like $7 or something. So I thought it was a good deal. All right, last but not least, I found a really nice cardigan that I could wear in the summer. I don't have anything like this and I've been wanting something very similar from Brandy Melville. As you ladies may know, Brandy Melville could be quite pricey for what it is, but it looks like this, so it's short sleeve. It's made out of this material here, so it's very breath breathable, which is perfect for the summer. And then it has like a slit on the side and then two pockets at the front. I'll try to insert a clip of me wearing it so you guys have a better idea of how it actually looks like. But this, like even the original price is really good. Um, so the full price is $30 and then 60% off, which is, let me find the receipt here. Okay, so the cardigan actually came up to $12 after 60% off. The necklace came up to $8 and the rib tank came up to $6.60. So I got all items plus tax for $28. So all this was less than the original price of this cardigan, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I got really lucky at the outlets today because, as I said, just really great deals. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button for more weekly videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!